थ्री जे आई विदाउट लॉ डिग्री जस्टिस के एन वांगचु इंट्रोडक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी फोर क्लॉस थ्री ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अ पर्सन फॉर द अपॉइंटमेंट एज अ जज इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट शेल हैव फॉलोइंग एलिजिबिलिटी फर्स्ट ही मस्ट अ सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया सेकेंड ही हैज बीन जज ऑफ एनी हाई कोर्ट फॉर एट लीस्ट फाइव ईयर्स थर्ड ही हैज बीन एन एडवोकेट ऑफ एनी हाई कोर्ट और एनी टू और मोर कोर्ट फॉर एट लीस्ट टेन ईयर्स फोर्थ ही मस्ट अ डिस्कर्निस्ड टूरिस्ट इन द ओपिनियन ऑफ द रेसिडेंट बट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन इंडिया जस्टिस के एन वांचू बिकेम द फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया विदाउट हैविंग द लॉ डिग्री He was 10th CGI of India. He was appointed as a CGI on 24th April 1967, and he would serve with this position for 10 months. He eventually retired with CGI position on 24th April 1968. About Justice K N Vanchu. Justice Vanchu was born at a Kashmiri Pandit family on. 25th Feb 1903 in Allahabad. His primary education was completed in Nagpur, Madhya Pradesh, and middle education was completed from Kanpur, Allahabad, and Vardhaman College of Surd UK for the ICS Indian Civil Services training in 1924. He never received any law degree, but at ICS training he received some education for criminal law portion. After completing his ICS training from Oxford UK he had given Indian Civil Services exam and in 1926 he was assigned at the Indian Civil Services as a joint minister and collector in United Provision In 1933 he was appointed as an officiating civil and session judge and in 1933 he was promoted to district and session judge of tribal area He served at tribal area from 1933 to 1936 when he was 43 years old he became a judge at Allahabad High Court in 1947 he was appointed as a chief justice of high court of Rajasthan part B in 1951 and after the recognition of the state in 1956 he was appointed as a chief justice of Rajasthan High Court New in 1958 he was appointed for the position of judge at the Supreme Court of India he served as a judge from 1958 to 1967 in 1967 the CGI Subha Rao was resigned then he was appointed as, as a former chief justice of India He was tenth Chief Justice of India. He was retired at the age of 65 years in 1968. After retirement, he served the country as a chairman of Railway Act Accident Inquiry Committee, Ministry of Railway, and also appointment as a chairman of Board of Attribution of Labour Ministry. At the age of 85 years, he took his last breath and died on 14 August 1988. Landmark judgments. Cause. I see Golaknath was a state of Punjab and others 1967. Second, Alok Kumar Roy was a doctor Essence Sharma and under. First, I see Golaknath was a state of Punjab and others 1967. The Supreme Court observed that part third of the Indian Constitution, the fundamental right in the necessary rights for the development of human beings and the state cannot make any law which violate the fundamental rights. Article 368 prescribed the various powers of parliament to amend in the Indian constitution but the parliament has not sufficient power to amend the part 3 of the constitution later the chief justice of india subha rao held that the parliament has no power to take away from the fundamental rights he introduced the doctrine of prospectus overruling justice wanchu held that article 368 was the power to amend the entire constitution along with part 3 but under article 13 2 it is not law and the doctrine of prospectus overruling future overruling cannot be applicable in india second alok kumar roy versus dr s s sharma and others mr vanchu justice of supreme court observed that a right irit petition by the appliant was dismissed by the assam high court and the appliant filed a special leave against the judgment It appeared that the appliant was a student of the medical college Guwahati. He was expelled from there on October 1966. It was 
It was said that a plan given the apology letter of the principal and attended the class of the last of October 1966. The principal did not accept his apology and November 1966 when he went to college for deposit for fee for the examination because examination was held from 4th November 1966. The administration of college told him that no fee was accepted because he had been expelled from the college. After this, the appellant appealed to the Guwahati High Court, but there was vacation started at High Court from September 17, 1966 to November 19, 1966. The vacation judge, Mr. S. K. Datta, and he was at Sibha Sagar on 2 November 1966. Justice Datta passed interim orders and gave it to the appellant, which it was to allowed to sit in the examination. But on 1967, respondent claimed that Justice Datta was not the judge of High Court and he would not pass any order from Sibha Sagar as a justice of Guwahati. The Supreme Court allowed the appeal and held set aside the order of the High Court dismissing the writ petition. The order should be recognized there by the high court.